Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a stewed pork loin joint and potatoes. So let's begin. Okay then, so for this recipe we're going to be using olive oil, sweet paprika, can't live without these two. I've got about half an onion here, three garlic cloves, about 650 grams of a pork loin joint. I've already patted it dry. And some potatoes. Also, I've got a meat stock cube, which I'll be putting in half a litre of water and bringing that to the boil. And that's it really. Well, we've got some bay leaves also. So let's get all this um, peeled and cut up. And these last, this last garlic, I cut it, it was the biggest bit. I cut it into four chunks because what I want to do is um, make a hole, well, four holes inside the pork and just shove that in there. Now on the other side. I do this a lot with my big um, joints of meat. When I do them like in the oven and that. Gives it a gorgeous taste. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the this heat on, on full blast. It's got half a litre of water and I'm just going to chuck in my um, meat stock cube and we'll bring that to the boil and in the meantime while I wait for that to come to a boil I'll turn this one on um, on to number seven and I'm going to add I'm just going to cover the bottom with some olive oil so it's about five four five tablespoons and we'll wait for that to heat up so that we can we can um, seal the the pork right so the oil seems hot so I'm just going to chuck the whole piece in there and brown it on all sides. And this broth, it looks like it's done. So I'm going to turn it right down to number one, just to keep it warm there. So that later when I add it to everything, it doesn't slow the cooking process down. Oh yes. Good dinner today. You may have noticed my different recording angle today when I'm trying out new things. So let's see how they turn out. I hope that you like them. Let me know in the comments. And I think that we need one of these definitely. Because that is well jumpy. Well, this looks ready. I'm going to turn the heat down to number five. There's oil everywhere. This has flattered more than I expected. So what I'm going to do... Look at that. 
Look at that hole. Where's the other one? It's sealed up. So what I'm going to do, taking that out and leave it to one side. And what I'm going to do now is add the potatoes on. And also fry them until they're brown all round. Let's add a bit of salt to these. You don't have to. I just felt like it. So let's brown them off. Okay, I better turn the heat back up a bit. I've got. To, I must clean the stove before I continue because I hate cooking when there's oil everywhere. It is horrible. So I'll see you back when these are done. To my liking, of course. You can do yours to your liking. Okay, so once the potatoes are browned or round, I'll take them out and put them together with the pork. And there you go, today's dinner sorted. Okay, let's turn this heat down a bit because the next step is to add the onion and garlic. So I'll let that cool down a little bit. So, in the same oil that we've done the potatoes and the pork, I'm gonna add the onion and garlic. I've just browned that off gently. I can turn that up to number seven now. It's cooled down enough. So it doesn't burn as soon as you put everything in. And I'll be back when that is ready. Okay then. So the onion is nicely done. Soft and brownish. So the next step will be to oops, add a couple of bay leaves or three. One, one a bit, and two and a bit, three. And also a nice decent teaspoon. Of sweet paprika. And what I'll do is add in a bit of that broth, mix it about a bit. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Huh. Ho, ho, ho. Right, so next step will be to add the pork and potatoes. I was going to just have the pork and leave it there for like um, 10 minutes and then another 10 minutes. Look at that juice. That's the best part. Oh yes. Love it. And all the broth. The half a litre of broth, roughly. Okay, so I'm going to cover it up, though first of all, I can't be having this, let's give all this a clean, 
because it's bloody disgusting with all the oil that's been splashing about. Kitchen towels are the best thing for this. If you use the, you know, the cloth, well, you can never get the oil out of it later. So kitchen towels are the best. Right, that's nice and clean. So what we'll do now is pour ourselves a glass of wine. And we'll leave that on number seven for, I think, I'm gonna give it 20 minutes. And then I'll give it a check. Cheers, everyone. Okay then, so 20 minutes have gone by. Oh, but first, let me show you what I made whilst waiting for this. I made a candle out of salt, oil, used oil, and I added some bay leaves for the smell. You know, to get rid of the creepy crawlies in the house that come in every now and then. Salud! Well, back to business. 20 minutes have gone by. Ho ho ho! So what I'm going to do before I do anything is have a salt check. Because I'm not sure how much that cube has, you know, salt. I know I added some salt to the potatoes, but that's all. No salt needed. Perfect as it is. So let's move these potatoes about. And also, they're still hard-ish. I'm going to move this about also, so it gets covered as well. And, mmm, looks good. I'm not sure if it's cooked inside though yet. But anyway, it doesn't matter because the plans are to cover it back up again and leave it on there. I'm going to turn it down to number five this time, so down to medium. I'll leave it there for half an hour. Okay, so time's up and lunch looks ready. So let's turn this off. Oh yes, beautiful. And by the way, the meat is done inside. For those ha who know me, they will know that I like my meat well done because of past experiences that I've had, bad ones. And today's lunch is ready. There's nothing much else to do. Hello. And the candle's still burning. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please comment, etc, etc, etc. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. Mmm. Here's a close-up. Hope you like it. Bye-bye.